During my streams of Hell Let Loose, I get asked this same question usually multiple times every stream about how to spot enemies better or tips on spotting enemies. So I thought I'd make almost like a guide or a tips video on that and walk you through some scenarios and how I play the game and hopefully that will help you in your game and improve your own game. Now this video is not gonna just instantly make you like Hawkeye and be able to spot everything all the time, it's not like that. A lot of this is gonna come through with experience just playing the game, getting to learn the maps, getting to know the usual sort of cover spots where people try to hide or try to set up positions at. You'll also get to know some of the areas of the maps and how they look and sometimes you will just spot that there's something wrong in a certain part of this say like a house and because there's someone standing there something like that or the bush doesn't look quite right because there's someone sitting in it it's going to come with experience and a lot of the people you guys watch on youtube or twitch have probably got hundreds and hundreds of hours in hell let loose which is why they're able to you know spot people quite a bit easier but let's get on with uh, some tips and stuff so one thing I want to talk about first is when you're, say, defending, I'm actually going to be doing a video on defending better, so subscribe to uh, get notified for that video. Uh, but when you're defending or attacking or generally moving around, I always look for the what I call the obvious direction of the enemy attack. And that pretty much is from one point to the other, you have the straight shot from you know the enemy's capture point to yours. And that's generally... The direction the people are going to be coming from so when you're in a defensive position you generally look towards that point but of course you need to keep an eye around the flanks i'm going to go into more detail on defending in in that other video so yeah i won't go into too much detail here and when you're moving towards the enemy's control point you know you're sort of focusing towards that control point because they could be moving from that control point towards yours but again keep an eye on your flanks Okay, so in this example, we have the pumping station under control and the next capture point is town center. So if you're going to move on a straight shot along here, of course, you're going to be looking in the direction of town center. But you also need to keep an eye for enemy pushing from this direction and also pushing from here. So if you are, say, moving in a straight line towards town center, keep an eye on your sides as well. That's what I mean by keeping an eye on your flanks. And while moving around, of course, you can't just be sprinting and jumping around like you're playing Battlefield or Call of Duty. You do need to be a bit more careful and make good decisions when moving from cover to cover or at least to concealment. Don't just charge around all the time. You know, move up to a corner and start, you know, swinging around the corner, you know, peeking out, checking for enemy movement. Then you know, move forward to the next point of cover or a piece of concealment, check your corners again and keep moving, keep following that same process because I do see a lot of new players just run out and get killed and they're like, oh, I just got killed from nowhere. Well, if you would slow down a bit and take the time to just, just double check and remember, check your back as well because there are some sneaky players, myself included, who will try to flank you and get behind you. So. Just always keep checking your corners, make good decisions when moving forward, and just keep an eye around you. Now, my main tip when it comes to spotting enemies is just checking the edges of cover. So I'm going to be putting up some various images here to demonstrate what I mean. In this first image, we've just taken up a position along the road. And now I'm going to switch the image to show you in highlighted red the areas that I'm mainly focusing on where I'm looking. Now these to me are the obvious points of where the enemy going to come out. It's the sort of the edges of cover, I say. So on the center one, it's just down the main road because there is movement that can happen down at the end of the road. To the right of that is a gap between that hedges. So you need to check the edges of those hedges mainly because that's where people can peek out from. And on the right close to us is the edge of a bush that's concealing us. An enemy could pop out from there. Now I'll switch to some more images that show you this in different scenarios. So again, this is quite a busy one with foliage. So I'll switch to where I'm looking at. And again, it's the gaps in between the hedges, mainly the edges of hedges you want to be checking out. 
the bush just in case if there's someone there. I mean, with a bush, you may just need to do the one look and that's it. Now, in this image, I am showing you a bit more of an extreme example. This actual position I'm in, no one's really going to take it because if you're defending a position, well, you wouldn't be defending it from here, but in this example, this is where you're going to have to look for potential enemy movement. And it's pretty much everywhere. You need to keep a check on your sides because people could be you know, coming at you from down the street. You need to check on that small square bit on the right because people can come from there and pretty much everywhere in front of you. What I'm trying to tell you here is even though you need to be keeping an eye out on where the enemy could come from, you are in a squad of potential six people, right? So divide up where you're going to be taking cover. So you can focus on like a small area and then you have other squad members focusing on a different angle or a different place where they're looking for the enemy. That's why you need to stay with your squad or that's one reason why you need to stay with your squad. Now I'm going to take you through like a little walkthrough of just looking through this area, you know, going into practice of what I mean by checking the edges of cover, checking the obvious enemy positions. In this server there was no other player so I am just trying to show you guys how you can move around like a small compound just checking everywhere slicing parts of the map area so you're looking at this bit switching along to this bit and so on and so on i hope this is making sense with urban environments it is more tricky because there is a lot more places where the enemy can pop out from there's so many like doors windows broken walls the gardens that they can pop out from so you do need to be just a bit more slower and careful when you're moving around and one thing absolutely need to listen out for footsteps footsteps are a huge thing in held at loose keep an ear out for those footsteps if you're moving with your squad or with you know one or two people just make sure you remember that and where they are in relation to you if you hear a footstep that's doesn't sound like it's coming from one of your teammates that very well could be an enemy who's just around the corner from you again footsteps i'm actually going to be doing a video on footsteps not necessarily on how to hear them but looking at how to generate less noise yourself while moving around so again subscribe so you can get notified when that video's up and lastly stick with your squad six pairs of eyes are better than one you know, if you're moving forward as a squad, you could, you know, in theory, you'll be looking in different directions at the same time. And one of you are going to spot an enemy soldier or an enemy squad. And then you can all just, you know, swivel, take them out. Stick with your squad. And again, communication. It's a tip I include in most of my videos. And there's a good reason for it. Communicate all the time. Don't be too expressive or too... Or go into too much detail when you spot someone just say contact the compass direction on my ping and you know put down a ping in that area when i ping i try not to ping directly on your target because your ping marker will obscure where they are so i try to ping just off to the side a little bit or like above or below them so my team can actually take them out if you're in a sniper spot squad i find that you know a really important tip don't as a spotter don't ping on top of your target. Ping off to the side a little bit. I also find that when I'm looking for enemy targets, it's actually the colour of skin that stands out to me more. Not, you know, the grey or the green of the uniform. That does tend to blend in to certain areas. But for me, it's skin colour that actually stands out more. And that's what leads me to spotting people more. So if you try... I mean, you can't tune your vision to look for skin, but... Look out for that because it will stand through more in bushes than green or grey. So I hope this video has helped you out. I apologise if it's a bit rambly. I didn't like script it. I just scripted some bullet points I wanted to go through to. There will be more guides coming to the channel. So if you're new to the PC version or the console version, then stay tuned for future guides. I've got tons of guides already for Hell Let Loose, looking at classes looking at the weapons themselves and just general tips. So thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more.